Welcome back. The CDC says the number of measles cases in 2019, already the second greatest number of cases reported in the U.S. since the disease was eliminated back in 2000. Nobody likes going to the doctor to get a shot, and especially kids, but physicians and other health experts say vaccinations save lives. Here's one local family that is urging people to vaccinate. Every time we would go to the emergency room, it was terrifying. We would go in and we'd have her in a mask and I'd have her face, you know, pushed up against me and a blanket over her head, just trying whatever we could to protect her. This little girl's mom would do anything to protect her, but she can't. We're going into this ER with all these other sick kids who have who knows what. And here we have this child that has nothing to fight with. Isabel is a kindergartner in Savannah. She was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia three years ago. She just turned six and her cancer is in remission. First started getting her chemotherapy. She had no immune system and she got the flu and we landed in ICU and it was terrifying. It was terrifying. I mean, we had doctors coming in telling us we thought she was going to die. Before that, Isabel was protected by vaccinations, but that extra layer of immunity was wiped out by chemo. Forced to depend on everyone else for protection, her family was anxious to be around anyone unvaccinated. For it to be something that people could be trying to prevent, but just choose not to, it's frustrating. Vaccines protect you from mumps, meningitis, chickenpox, polio, and others. Some of those diseases, you know, a normal healthy person would get it and maybe they would get a little bit sick and then they get over it and it's not a big deal. But for somebody like my daughter who had no immune system, if she were to contract something like measles, it could kill her. Preventable infectious diseases like measles are currently not widespread in the U.S. Thanks to vaccinations, and a thing called herd immunity. If you do vaccinate, you have a 95% chance of being safe. But then if you surround yourself with other people that are all 95% protected, that herd immunity really takes off and protects the vulnerable. Dr. Cynthia Brownfield is a pediatrician and a mom. That's why my children are 100% vaccinated. She feels strongly about vaccinations. History tells us that vaccines work and they're safe. And she's not alone. Experts say research proves vaccines have prevented millions of diseases and thousands of deaths in the U.S. since the 1950s. Americans who are unvaccinated put themselves, their families, and their communities at risk. And herd immunity is essential for children like Isabel, who are unable to be vaccinated. Is it potentially deadly? Absolutely. Still, anti-vaccination movements are growing. Mumps and measles outbreaks erupting in states like Washington. Most of the cases that we're seeing are in unvaccinated communities. The World Health Organization has listed vaccine hesitancy on its list of 10 threats to global health in 2019. Right up there with HIV, Ebola, and superbugs. According to WHO, this hesitancy threatens the progress made in tackling vaccine-preventable diseases. And social media has made the problem worse. The misinformation about the disease uh, and the vaccine are leading some folks to not vaccinate. Just recently, sites like Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and GoFundMe are pledging to block anti-vax misinformation. And experts are urging people to get the facts from reputable sources. Facts like vaccines don't cause autism. This has been completely disproven. In fact, the person who actually brought that study about has lost their medical license. All their publications have been reversed. And that there's no evidence of a big government or big pharma conspiracy. I do not earn a dollar more or a dollar less based off of my recommendations for immunizations. And while Isabel's mom knows she can't convince every single person, she hopes a few see the story and remember children like hers. It's not just about their life. It's not just about their children. It's about everybody's children. Reporting in Savannah, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. Doctors say anyone with concerns about vaccines should discuss them with their child's pediatrician.